Welcome back to your home garage and in this video I'm going to show you how to quickly and easily test your fuses. Now in my last video I had to replace this relay to get my AC clutch going again and it could be a lengthy process if you have to remove each fuse just to search for electrical issues to ensure that the fuse is still good. Now if you happen to have a multimeter you can easily check for continuity. Now the continuity is usually denoted by a wave or a diode symbol. This simply tests whether or not the circuit is complete by sending a very small amount of current through the circuit and seeing if it makes it out the other end. And when you touch the leads together, you should hear that beep to let you know you have the proper setting. And you won't have to remove any of the fuses that are inside your fuse box because each one of the fuses has two contact points that are exposed. All you need to do is attach the leads to it and you'll hear the beep. So continuity is defined as the presence of a complete path for current flow, which basically means a circuit is complete when its switch is closed. So a digital multimeter's continuity test mode can be used to test switches, fuses, electrical connections, conductors, and other components. A good fuse, for example, should have continuity. And it doesn't take long to test all the fuses in the fuse box when you're just listening for that beep for continuity. So it took less than two minutes to check all the fuses in that fuse box. But what if the fuses were out of the vehicle? So once again, just touch the leads together to make sure you have good continuity by hearing that beep. And since the fuses are out, you'll have better contact points and you'll be able to do the exact same test. And this, of course, kind of complements a visual test to make sure that the fuse isn't blown. And since I don't have a blown fuse, I'm just going to demonstrate what happens on a piece of tinfoil, which is a great conductor, when you don't have continuity. So a solid piece of tinfoil acts just like a fuse. As you can tell, you can hear the beep. But when that fuse is blown, or the tinfoil in this case is torn in half, and you don't have a good connection, let's see what happens. So without a complete path, there is no current flow. And there's just another use for your multimeter to check each one of your fuses really fast. And make sure you help to keep this channel going by hitting that like button, sharing this video with a friend, and comment below as I reply to all. And of course, don't forget to subscribe. And we'll see you next time on Your Home Garage.